Clostridia, the disease that causes more deaths in livestock in Australia than pretty much anything else I would suspect, happens because Clostridia organisms live in the bellies of normal animals. When they change suddenly from a low food le production level to a higher level, something like moving from this paddock to that paddock. What happens is the rumen bacteria multiply, all those microbes multiply, but it's the Torag's clostridia that produce poisons that can kill animals really quickly. And if the animals in question are not vaccinated, they will die. It takes about 10 days for a booster vaccine to kick in. So animals should be vaccinated about 10 days before moving to let the antibody level boost up. They should always get two doses, four to six weeks apart at the very beginning of their lives. If you buy in animals and you don't know whether they've been vaccinated, start again. It's, it's pennies for a vaccine. I've got one in my hand here, but there's many different sorts. This is a five in one, five different germs that can cause killer diseases. These are the ones we need to protect against. Does it last a year? No, it does not for the gut borns, the ones that cause pulpy kidney enterotoxemia. You're lucky to get four months out of it at high risk times. Tetanus and one or, some one or two of the others, it'll last a year, but others, it does not. If you're coming to a high risk time when you're supplementing feed, they're moving on to new pastures, give them a booster dose. Simple message, save you a lot, a lot of losses.